Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. A video unbearable to watch. Watch closely, you PKK pigs. Shouting God is great. Syrian rebels supported by Turkey show the lifeless body of a Kurdish fighter. Baron Kobani is naked and mutilated. The rebels have been accused of cutting off her breasts, which they have denied. The video has sparked fury in the north of Syria. Not the Islamic State group, nor Erdogan and his cronies will break our spirit. We'll fight until our last breath. We will avenge Baron's death. Supported by the West, thousands of young Kurdish and Arab women in the Syrian Democratic Forces are fighting against the Islamic State terrorist group. We're following the path of our martyrs, Irene, Avista and Bahrain. We're training and fighting to assert the role of women. The SDF had put up a fight against jihadist militants. Now they consider Syrian rebels backed by Ankara as their number one enemy. Our enemies are monsters. They want to crush women and make them become their slaves. But we're not going to let them. There are lots of us. There are training camps like this across the region. In the SDF, fighters killed in combat are considered martyrs. Photos of Barin Kobani bring back memories. In 2012, Azmin was taken hostage by al-Qaeda in Syria. She was freed in exchange for the body of a commander. They didn't rape me, but they electrocuted me to make me talk. They put out cigarettes on my skin and they hit me. It was really awful, but I didn't give in. Barin Kabani's name is known throughout the Kurdish region of Syria. Women in the SDF in Afrin say they're ready to avenge her death.